How's it going guys? Welcome back. So in this section, we're going to start implementing the React side of this application. So first thing I'm going to do is actually go into the back ends. There's some little things I want to do here. All right. So if I go down to, where is it right here? I want to have some, I guess, authorization classes. Well, just one. So it's going to be default permission classes. And then in here, I'm going to have rest framework permissions is authenticated. All right, so I just want to have this so that all my views by default, you have to be authenticated. And if you want the permission to be otherwise, then you can set it. So I think this is a good thing to have in an authentication system. So just going to include that there. And then there's also a typo I made previously right here. So I'm just going to fix that. So. This should be back end like this. All right, so that should be good for the settings. And now we can move on to the front end. So right now I have my back end server running and I also have my front end running and then my database running, of course. So yeah, make sure you're doing that. And then there are some packages I want to install. So actually I'm going to stop running this front end. Um, and I'm going to do npm install save. I want to install Axios. Um, react router dom. I'm going to need redux, redux dev tools extension. And then I'm going to need react redux and redux thunk. All right. So these are all the imports. So Axios, of course, for making the API request to the back end react router in order to actually have routing in the application. And then all of these Redux based packages. Oops, I did Redux thunk twice. Oh, no, I didn't. React Redux, Redux thunk. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so Redux, um, React Redux, and Redux thunk all help us implement Redux in the application, and Redux DevTools extension helps us with actually debugging what's going on. So I'm just going to go ahead and install those. I'm probably just going to fast forward to when they're installed. So you guys don't have to wait. And there we go. So all the packages finally finished. So now let's continue on and start building this front end. Ooh. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is just get rid of all of the files that I don't need. So app.css app.test this index, the logo service worker and this test. Also, I'm going to get rid of the app.js because I'm going to remake it. So it's going to delete all that, everything except index.js. And I'm also going to recreate that app.js just so we're starting from scratch here. And then in here, it's going to remove this and this and this. That looks good. All right. Now let's work on the app here. So import react. And then I'm going to need to import browser router going to call it router and then going to need route and I guess I'll bring in switch as well. All right. And then I'm going to use round um, parentheses here because I'm not going to have any logic. It's just going to be JSX in here. I'm going to have my router. And then switch. And then I'm going to have my different routes in here. All right, so let's start making some of the files I'm going to need. So I'm going to need, I probably won't need an assets, but I like to have an assets folder. I'm going to need containers. This is pretty much where our pages are going to be. So, um, and then any other separate components that our pages use, I'm going to put that in components. Then later I'm going to be implementing Redux. So I'm going to have my actions and reducers and anything else I need later, I'll be adding. All right. So in the containers, I'm going to make a few files here. I'm going to need, so I'm going to need a home.js for our home page. I will need a login page, then a sign up page. 
Um, let's see. I'll also need an activate page. This is where you activate your account. So it'll just have a button that says verify and then you activate your account. <laughs> so I'm um, gonna need a reset password. So a reset password page. This is where you request to um, I kind of reset your passwords. So you're going to get an email. You're going to get a link in that email. And then that link is going to bring you to another page, which is going to be reset password confirm. And this is where you're actually going to retype your new password and reset it. All right. So in components, I know one thing I'm going to need is nav bar. And I'm also going to need a higher order components folder where I'm going to have the layout.js. All right. So for now, I'm just gonna do some boilerplate. And then within here, I'm gonna have to import the nav bar. So that will come from components nav bar gonna need props and then within here I'm just gonna have my nav bar at the top and then props dot children okay and then this I'm gonna edit a little more later on since we are going to have to do some other things. For example, I want it so that when you actually refresh the app, you remain logged in. It'll check whether you are still like logged in and authorized. And if so, you'll remain logged in. So I kind of want that logic in here later on. So that'll be more when we implement Redux. So for now, I'm just going to copy this so I don't have to retype so much code for these other boilerplates. Let's go into home here. So I won't need nav bar. This will be called home. Can get rid of props, can get rid of nav bar. And here I can just write home. All right, beautiful. Let's copy this, paste in here. This is login, sign up. And then we got activate. Reset password and then reset password confirm. Okay, so we got all those pages. Let's go ahead and import them. So we need home. So this is containers, home. And we got how many here? So six total pages. So just gonna bring this down five more times and then import the rest of these. So oops, gonna need login, sign up, and then activate, oh, reset password, and reset password, confirm. And then also this nav bar, I'm gonna put this boilerplate here just to have all of this kind of set up for us. And now let's bring in layout first off. Gonna put the switch inside there. I'm also gonna be running this just so I can see if I make any mistakes, it'll show up here. All right, so while this is happening, I'm just gonna do the rest of this stuff. So I'm gonna need route. This is gonna be exact path. That's gonna be slash. And the component is gonna be home. Layout is not defined. Of course, import layout from higher order components. Layout, there we go. So we got navbar home, perfect. So we see our navbar component is showing up and our home component is showing up on this URL. All right, so let's bring in the rest of these routes. 
So I'm gonna need one for login, sign up, reset password, and then this is actually gonna be reset underscore password. I'm gonna need one for password, reset, confirm, UID, and token. And then I'm gonna need one for activate. Let's make sure I spell that right, activate. And then I'm gonna have UID and token. There we go. So this one's gonna be activate. This one's gonna be reset, password, confirm, reset, password, sign up, and login. So there we go, we have all of our components. And if you're wondering why I made the routes like I did here, we can actually go back into our backend, into our settings. And if we go down to the Joser setup, here we see that the password reset confirm URL is this. So password reset confirm UID token. So password reset confirm UID token, exactly like we have it here. And then our activation URL is activate UID token, just like we have here, activate UID token. All right, so that pretty much covers this. And then inside of reset password, I might actually make it reset dash password. Looks a little nicer in the URL. So and then within here, that's where I'm gonna actually have a button which is going to um, access our backend in order to actually send an email to us to reset our password. So that should probably be somewhere in here. Um, that is something that we can actually find in the Joser documentation. So Joser documentation. And then if we look at the, let's see, that would be base endpoints. And then we are looking for the reset password. So right here. So use this endpoint to send email to user with password reset link. So we have to set up password reset confirm URL to allow this so that we did. So password reset confirm URL. That's right here, we set that up, so that lets us do that. And then we just have to access this route here. So users reset password. So that's gonna be the backend API route. So in our case, it's gonna be localhost 8000 slash auth slash user slash reset password. Then if we hit this route with a post request passing in our email field, we will get an email where we can then um, pretty much get a link that will let us access this route right here, and then we'll be able to um, set our new password. So that is how that will work. So in the meantime, we have all of this set up. Let's test it out now. So if I go to slash login, I got login here. So that component is uh, showing up. We got sign up. So sign up is showing up. Then reset password. There we go, reset password. Let's grab this here. All right, and then this UID and token can be any value, so I can have this as the UID. So normally the UID will be something like MG, let's say, and then the token will be some token. So we hit that, we get our pass or reset password confirm. And then you will get this one. So with this UID and token, that will be coming from the link sent in our email. And then we will have to specifically use those ones in order to actually allow the resetting of the password. Uh, let, let me just go to the Joster documentation <laughs> and demonstrate this again. Uh, shouldn't have closed it. Okay, so for the password, Reset confirm, we have to pass a UID, token, new password, and read new password. So this UID and token 
that will be coming from the URL. We are going to grab this UID. We're going to put it in that post request. We're going to grab this token, put in the post request. Then we're going to type our uh, new password, our confirmed new password. And we're going to send all of that off to this URL here. And that is what's going to allow us to actually reset our password. Okay. So we also have this activate here. So let's test that one out. Make sure we can access all the routes. We can, here's activate. And again, this would also have something like, looks like this and we can access that. So perfect. We have all of our components set up. We have our routing working. And then in the next section, I can start actually tackling, let's say Redux and getting our authentication logic in place into this application. So I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next section.